Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have no illnesses or receive any. I'm not feeling too well myself, but I do feel the Holy Spirit moved to me. As I read, a, read uh, what someone has written on another post, and it moved me to read Colosseums 3. I really like this new uh, King James Bible. They do have some common sense um, explanations for for things too that uh, are big words. Some you need a, a dictionary for, and I know there's some in three too. But at the first, it uh, explains a few things about the book. And uh, this is the Epistle of Paul, the Apostle to the Colosseans. If the Ephesians can be labeled the Epistle portraying the Church of Christ, then Colosseans must surely be the Christ of the Church. Ephesians focuses on the body. Colossians focuses on the head. Like Ephesians, the little book of Col Colossians divides neatly in half with the first portion, doctrinal one and two, and the second practical three and four. Paul's purpose is to show that Christ is preeminent, first and foremost in everything, and the Christian's life should reflect that priority. Because believers are rooted in him, alive in him, hidden in him, and complete in him, it is utterly inconsistent for them to live life without him, clothed in his love, with his peace ruling in their hearts. They are equipped to make Christ first in every area of life. The epistle became known as Pros Colosseus to the Colosseans because of one part two. Paul also wanted it to be read in the neighboring church at Laodicea 4.16. And my church is the priesthood of the believer and all members that believe in it are scattered everywhere. Someday maybe we will gather together, but it's not all happening yet. Then number three says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, which is passion, evil con concupiscence, which is desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for things for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, and in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, 
if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And you can look at Mark 11.25. <clears throat> and it explains it as bearing with. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of per perfectness, love. Ephesians 4.3 And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Ephesians 5.19 And whatsoever ye do, in the word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things. For this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Ephesians 5.24 Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Ephesians 6.5 and Titus 2.9 and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not as the men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons, which is also explained in Romans to 11. Well, I bless you and pray for all of you and hope you can understand all of this. This is our King James Version and it's the only Bible I can trust even though there seems to be a piece or two missing out of it. It still has a lot of the common sense writing of God's men. Bless you and prayers for you. Have a lovely day. Later.